What's up, guys? We're here with Adam Wickens from Wickens Wicked Reptiles. That isn't a tongue twister at all. <laughs> he is a, a YouTube professional, and we are super happy to have him on here. <laughs> yeah. So, so stay tuned. happy to be here. Yeah. <laughs> so stay tuned. <laughs> Right, Adam so tell us a little bit about yourself uh, so I'm a Canadian dude and I uh, started a YouTube channel so I talk about reptiles in my basement like a weirdo and um, I specialize in hognose snakes I bring a bunch of leopard geckos the first clutch of leopard geckos actually hatched today which like literally 10 minutes before I sat down with you oh, that's so, awesome uh, congratulations thank you yeah so just uh, the first one of the season but yeah that's that's me I'm Wiccans Wicked Reptiles my last name is Wiccans and my rep Reptiles are wicked. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. We're mm -hmm. R&B reptiles, and we're not rhythm our, and blues at all. Our reptiles are R&B, so yeah, it's all good. <laughs> right, and Ben, I'm um, calling you rhythm and blues from the rest of now for the rest of the time. That that is okay. I'm fine with it. <laughs> That's usually what we have to when we're like, hey, we're R&B reptiles. People are like, the what? And we're like, <laughs> like like rhythm and blues, and they're like, oh, do you guys sing? And we're like, nope. <laughs> be better if you did. You should try it. That'd be a good song. He out. tries to sing. I do I try to stop. sing. I get, I'll, I'll put I'll put one on right now you for you. Don't want it, <laughs> uh, one of the things I want to talk about, and maybe the first thing is, uh, so you have a, a a pretty successful YouTube channel, especially as reptile YouTube channels go. You're you're pretty successful, and can you give some tips to people out there of like, because people ask us all the time. I'm sure they ask you guys or you if. Uh, you know, some tips about how to start a reptile YouTube channel. Actually, I had two people ask me today um, some tips about doing a YouTube channel for reptiles specific. So what's something that you would tell uh, our viewers about that? Uh, well, thank you for calling it successful. It's very nice of you and a little bit generous. But uh, I, don't know, I think the most important things in this order um, are, are, you know, big, not uh, big personality, I guess I would say. So big personality. Uh, or at least have a niche, like if you want to, you know, like a, a blues. I know that you're kind of a little bit more awkward, and that's like your thing, right? But it I wasn't, if, but it is now. <laughs> yeah. So I think that if you have like your, th so you have your personality. If it's a big personality, or at least part of your duo has a big personality. Mm -hmm. um, good audio quality, good lighting. This is a terrible example. Uh, and then good content, and be consistent with it. And that's like my bible of how to, you know, get to seventeen thousand subscribers and year and a half or whatever long I've been doing this but I, I think it's very simple but consistency is really key and you mm -hmm. guys do that really well and you have you know this kind of dynamic duo thing and I think that if you have two people or a group of people you have to have like this kind of chemistry and you guys clearly have that from the very beginning when I watched you guys it was very you <laughs> obviously have like this you obviously know each other well or you pretend to so it works it really works <laughs> thanks you do know each other well yeah i guess we we, we kind of know each other well. chemistry is more hatred than anything but it's <laughs> <laughs> so yeah being i mean that is uh, i agree being consistent is one of the top things i tell people you know put out content that they enjoy and stuff like that but uh so how about some of the technical stuff like what what do you film at like what uh resolution do you film at what resolution do you upload at and why uh, so I, I stick at 1080p. Just I tried 4K. It it's so big, and I don't think it makes that much of a difference. Like if you were to watch it on this huge TV, and you know you slow it, it maybe you'll notice. But if I put it side by side, you'll never tell the difference. Like a regular person, if you're a techie guy, but I always shoot at 24 frames a second, and that is I think way more important than the resolution is because hmm. if you shoot at 30 or 60, it looks awkward and weird. And most people don't notice, yeah. but if you're a film guy or if you're someone who's interested in filmmaking or even, you know, making videos, your yeah. eye will be able to tell the difference. Your eye sees 24 frames a second, shoot 24. And that way, when I make my big grandiose hand gestures, it looks like there's a little bit of drag and it looks kind of uh, cinematic more than just kind of weird and soap opery. Hmm. Ah, that's a good tip. That's like a good that. tip. Yeah. Mm. Cool. Good to know. So, yeah, <laughs> we before we, we started... Uh, on the recording, we were talking about that, and I'm like, we're always filming in 4K and all that. I don't know if you were there or not, but <laughs> we were talking about that. Yeah, you're <laughs> so all right. So I appreciate those tips, and hopefully the viewers will too. What and do do you want to I can keep I keep asking I'd love questions. To ask them some questions you're, but you're like you're the guy talking here. No, go ahead. Ryan's real quiet. Inbreed hog news, that's awesome. We mm -hmm. just had uh 
um, Jr. from JMG on. He's yeah, Jeff huge, Gal uh, Galwind, Galwood, Jeff Galwood mm -hmm. <laughs> from JMG. <laughs> Jeff Galwind Wood. Okay. So I always say. What, what kind Galwind? of morphs you working with with Hognose? Uh, Westerns, I'm assuming. Yeah, Western Hognose. Very. It's interesting because JMG is. Someone messaged me on Instagram, and I get a lot of messages like, "Hey, what morph is my snake?" And they, all the Hognose guys, they always say, "Well, I asked." JMG and that guy obviously is way more qualified than me because he's right and I'm wrong most of the time uh, <laughs> when I do my guesses. But uh, honestly, all I breed right now, like all I work with is um, some albino stuff. Uh, and then I had some exanthic stuff and I just kind of got rid of it. And um, so ex albino and anaconda. Okay. And that's pretty much it. Like I've been thinking about getting into some other stuff, but that's like for down the road. And it's mm. uh, all my deals kind of fell apart because this thing i don't know if you know there's a pandemic going on right now yeah what? And, uh, yeah crazy right but uh yeah so that must really be a canada like, thing man i don't know yeah it's a yeah it's a, uh, <laughs> hey, my moose he's sick hey eh? and uh so, <laughs> everyone i don't know you just can't i can't go out and do the deal i was about to do but so there is something else coming but right now anacondas and uh, albinos is that's it i got a bunch of eggs in the incubator cooking right now and i awesome. think the female is i think she's ready to double clutch because she's getting pretty, oh, pretty nice. thick yeah that's great. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it would be great because last year she didn't double clutch, so that's cool with me if she spits out a bunch more eggs. <laughs> right. <on. laughs> that's great. What other species are you working with? Uh, I've got a ball python pair. Like I'm not, I'm not like the breeding guy. Like I used to try to be the breeding guy, but now mm. it's just more like make things as pretty as possible, and then kind of like my channel is gearing towards showing people how the best way if you have like a pet to care mm -hmm. for the pet. And then I just do some breeding stuff I don't do a lot of videos about because I don't like showing off the racks. There's nothing wrong with racks, in my opinion. Um, mm -hmm. But people like to see big PVCs, and I get that question more than anything else. So right now mm -hmm. it's a bunch of ball pythons, and I have uh, nothing high-end or anything like you guys have. Mm -hmm. uh, Hogno stuff, um, and then some jewel lacertas and uh, Sudan plato lizards, just kind of weirder stuff. Nice. I've got another python species coming later this week. The guy that breeds rats and sells me rats is going to sell me uh, these... A cool Australian species. Uh, if you guys want to take a stab at what it is, um, yeah, that's, that's well, we can get of... crazy. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna say uh, olive pythons. <laughs> it's not an olive python. No, no, you, you only have like a few options. Like, it's gotta be a woman, right? It's not a woman either. Those things, I'd have to black sell heads? my house and sorry, blackheads, bro. The, I could buy a house for the price of a blackhead <laughs> here. Wow. Uh, Pygmy pythons. No, uh, wait, that's what we... It's got to be children's pythons or something, right? Uh, you're both kind of right. It's a, it's a spotted python. So spotted. Oh, there you yeah. go. No one knows except for you guys whenever this goes live. So hopefully I'll have them by then. We'll you see. heard it here first. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. This is awesome. Uh, we we have pygmy pythons, and uh, they're real cool, and we like them. So same hopefully... genus, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, same genus. Ours are anthills, the smallest ones. The children's are a little bit bigger, but not by a lot. So and spotted's are just a little bit bigger than that. Yeah, yeah. they're like the medium, one mm -hmm. size up. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, they're really awesome animals. I think they're fun. If you decide that you're going to breed them, let us know. It's always a fun conversation to have. For sure. So. Yeah, that's uh, I'm getting a, a trio of them, so hoping oh, cool. to yeah, two of them, I don't know. It's it's a really good deal, but I think that two of them are assist feed only right now so we'll we'll see how it goes it's something yeah. that i've got well with hognose snakes i've kind of had to do that before so i've kind of know what i'm doing a bit so i think that's what's kind of like i don't know what i'm doing will you take them and that's kind of how that deal went i we so we've had to uh assist feed our uh babies and so we're done assist feeding at the moment but the next round every time you have to end up assist feeding because they eat uh knob tail geckos in the wild and we mm -hmm. can't afford knobtail geckos for like food. Maybe so not exclusively knobtails. Maybe. Yeah, not exclusively, <laughs> but they're they're small maybe geckos. Small geckos. But um, so we want to try some of those tricks that people with hognose do. You know, maybe scenting or braining or uh, dipping in water and just putting it right up to the mouth and see if they'll start on. Um, I I, I want to try some different techniques this next go around for us. So. It's well, possible you'll be successful. I guess if they, if like you start feeding them and then uh, like the scenting thing has worked with me for the hog nose before, like even like tuna juice or egg yolk was another one that worked really well. So mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm going to try all those things. And if it doesn't work, then it doesn't work. But one of them is eating great. And the other two are uh, cis feed right now. So we'll see how it goes. Yeah. That's cool though. So 
I saw your one of your recent videos was your top five best uh, pets or reptiles to keep for first time keepers. So what are some of the your I guess what's your number one pick for that? Because some of our viewers might not have seen that yet. Uh, Nile crocodiles for sure. I think that everyone should just go out and get a Nile mm. crocodile right away. It's Love awesome. crocodilians. Yeah. <laughs> um, honestly, like it's so boring. I know people call me boring, but I think that it's it's kind of a toss up between crested geckos and leopard geckos. If you want a snake instead, people also don't like this, but I would say ball pythons just because it's something that you're not going to get bored of. Like some people get bored of corn snakes, and people get bored of ball pythons. Don't get me wrong. But they at least get to a, a size that is impressive. Like, if I pull out a ball python and show a friend who doesn't know anything about snakes, they are impressed. It is a python, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Where a corn snake, it's like, is that like, is it a garter snake? What is that? Like, you know what I mean? It's just the color is interesting, <laughs> but it's not big. So, right, yeah. <laughs> that, but then again, if you're like, and that is good for kids too, because they're not going to harm them. If you're getting into, uh, you know, if you're 15 years old and you're more responsible, then maybe a crested gecko or a leopard gecko just because you know, they're easy. If they bite you, it doesn't hurt. There's just kind of like there's something for everybody, I think. Hey, can well, we see some of your animals? <laughs> yeah. Well, this right here is my uh, BCI. Uh, we just kind of started taming her down. Or not started taming her down, but it's been a process. And I know with boas, a lot of the time, uh, it's just easy. Like, you get a boa and, like, they're good and if they're not babies. But uh, my buddy, he started – he moved in with his fiance into their her parents' house, and they're like no snakes. So he just dumped this year and a half old uh, <laughs> boa on me, and it was not. It was kind of aggressive, really, like really defensive. So mm -hmm. I've been taming her down, and then uh, I'm not sure when this comes out, but the video that I, I posted just most recent or is coming up most recently as of recording this shows this a little bit. But um, this is my. This is Franny, the BCI. So this is uh, the one that my project, let's call it that. Right on. Um, mm -hmm. But uh, in terms of other stuff that, that you can show, my Doomrolls boa is becoming my most favorite, I think, reptile now. Doomrolls uh, are cool, man. Yeah, and not a lot of people have them. Like, I don't know like where you guys are. Maybe it's more common. Uh, mm -hmm. But here, it's not. Like, there, I don't know really anyone who has a Doomrolls boa. Like, a few people, but not around here. So mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I think my, my Doomrolls Boa Cubone, I guess, that pulled, put a poll up, and people like when I name stuff after Pokemon, I guess. <laughs> right but, uh, yeah, this is Cubone, and she's becoming one of my, definitely one of my favorites for sure. So I two Boa species when I really wasn't into Boas a couple of years ago. And then, of course, like I got 400 Leopard Geckos. Well, not 400, but I got a lot of Leopard Geckos. I got a lot of Leopard Geckos. So mm -hmm. that's, I don't know, these are kind of my my thing, Leopard Geckos and Hogno Snakes, of course, as well. But Hogno Snakes, I don't know, they're all kind of squirmy right now because they either want to breed or pop out eggs. Okay, cool. <laughs> we wanted to reach out to you and to get you on just because of, we love what you do as well. And if you um, if you take a look, and so if our viewers don't already subscribe to you, which they probably do, let's hope they, they do, but if not... Stupid. But they should. Um, what you're doing with the pet world. So that's something that we're trying to get to is we really are like a niche market of, you know, ball pythons, it seems like mostly. But we have other animals and um, and like you said, like breeders and, and stuff like that. But we really want to hit the animal market and who you really um, your base are people that are really into pets and uh, that really, really care about their animals, which we do as well. But it's hard for us to get out there in that way at the moment. So we're really trying to make that transition. And you do it so well. And uh, so we're really looking at your channel and learning how to make it kind of form in that way to where we can, you know, put ourselves out there. like Reach a uh, broader audience. Yeah, to reach a broader the audience. Hardcore breeder side, but the the smaller, you know, pet market. Yeah. that's So that's what we're, uh, we're trying to do. So we really appreciate you being on and uh, for you to keep up doing what you're doing because... You're getting out really good content and, you know, so if you guys aren't subscribed to them, make sure you subscribe to Adam here and we'll put the links in the description below for sure. Awesome. Well, hey, thank you very much for having me on, guys. I think that your, your channel is uh, definitely going to blow up and uh, as you make that transition, it'll just get bigger <laughs> and better and your guys, like the chemistry you guys have is like, it seems like you guys have known each other forever. So uh, I don't know. I like what you're doing and if you're <laughs> watching this video, just like hit the subscribe. It's like right there in the corner. Just like, Hit it. it's, it's like it's right good. over in the yeah, it's somewhere it's like right <laughs> over in the, yeah there you we go. never know <laughs> <laughs> oh wait so you're supposed to say you're supposed to say smash 
Smash that smash like button, smash that subscribe button, and uh, beam that bell. Yeah, new if video. Don't break your mouse, you're doing it wrong. Or whatever day you guys post <laughs> yeah. videos. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so stay tuned. to be here. Yeah. <laughs> so stay tuned for this uh, educational thing we're doing. Spiler, spiraling <laughs> out. You're spiraling out. Are you, are you sure you don't want to do this? <laughs> You had it going. <laughs> you know, my my whole deal is I'm real awkward, so that's that was a perfect take. <laughs> it's gotta be weird. Uh, all right, I'm sure I could work with that. We don't have to redo it. I don't spell his name wrong. Every time that I start to spell Wiccans, I always, for Wiccans. some odd reason, I do it with an H. I don't know why. I'm like, <laughs> be a way Wiccan, name. Wiccans. <laughs> Wiccans, Wiccan for us. This is Wiccans, Wiccans. All right, Stewie. Calm down. <laughs> you. flag. I'm flagged already? I can't be flagged. Um, but okay. For serious, though. <clears throat> <laughs> I was gonna start singing Tiger King, but uh, I don't know if, I don't <laughs> I we're saw ready. For tiger? <laughs> yeah, I saw a Tiger. Okay. Anyway, um, <laughs> is there anything you want to talk about or bring up, or I don't know if you have uh, something you want to do. my channel. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, like, I don't know. I think that we probably have like a lot of the same subscribers or like same viewership anyway. Like, is well, I think you guys are more uh, the breeding that you guys do is like next level and I, I listen to your podcast the herp hour like when you're on the herp hour because i'm pretty good friends with those guys yeah and uh yeah like you guys got some like high-end stuff in the I, I don't know there i wish that i could find myself like a duo like that and i think we all do so you guys work really well together and i think if you're watching this video and you're not subscribed to this channel and if you found these guys through me or someone else just hit subscribe like you guys are doing great and i don't know how you finance this, but you just like travel the States and like go to Canada. And, like, I don't know. It's so cool to me what you guys are doing at such a, like a ridiculously low subscriber level for what you guys are. Like you should be way up there. One of the big boys, but I don't know. I think that you guys have a great thing going on. And uh, I think I aspire to live like what you guys are showing the internet that you live. That's wow. We are tricking the crap out of people. Yeah. I know. That's like <laughs> <laughs>